Hi, for this video what we want to do is find the measure of each angle that is given in each of the um, graphics that are drawn out. Um, the first one that we have is going to be a supplementary angle. So remember that since it's supplementary, since it um, forms a straight line together, the supplementary angles always have a sum of 180. So that's the information that we're going to use to help us solve this. So we can say that the first angle, which has a measure of 3x plus 5, plus the second angle, which has a measure of 2x, this is going to equal 180 degrees. And we're going to find our answer to this one in degrees. So now all we have to do is solve the simple equation. So we would combine our like terms. So 3x plus 2x gives us 5x, plus 5 equals 180. And now what we want to do is get x by itself. So we're going to subtract 5 from both sides. So when I do that, I get 175. All I did was subtracted 5 from both sides. And then I need to divide both sides by 5 in order to find the value of x. And this is where I see a lot of mistakes in the classes that I teach, is I get a lot of students that get to this point and they find x and they stop. They're like, oh, I found x is 35 degrees, I'm done, and they move on to the next problem. But remember, it wants the measure of each angle, so we want to find what does this part right here equal, and what does this part right here equal. So we have to take x and plug it back in. So for this part, I'm going to do 2 times 35, and so we find out that this one is 70. Now you have two options for the second one. Either one will result in the same measurement. So for this one, we can plug in our 35. So we can say 30 or 3 times 35 plus 5, which this part gives us 105 plus 5 gives us 110 degrees. Or if you didn't want to plug them in, you could have said, um, or you could have done the 180 minus 70 to get 110. Either way, you're going to get the same answer. So the measure of this angle is 110 degrees, and the measure of the second angle is 70 degrees. So with supplementary, you always add them up to be 180 degrees. The second example that I have here is a right angle is denoted by these two angles. If you see this um, little symbol in here, that always means that they're 90 degrees. So angles that have a sum of 90 or form a right angle are known as complementary angles. And complementary angles have a sum of 90 degrees. Okay, so what we would do is practically the same thing as what we just did. We're going to take each of our angles, so I'm going to take the first one, 3x, and I'm going to add it to the second one, the x plus 10. And then we would just simplify, so I end up with 4x plus 10, and I forgot to put the 90, let's do that first. 4x plus 10 equals 90, and then we would subtract the 10 from both sides. So we get 4x equals 80. So we find that x is 20. Again, this is where I see a lot of my students make mistakes. They stop right here. And they're like, oh, I found x. I must be done. But that's not what was asked for. We want to find each of these angle measures. So we do have to go back and plug them back in. So this part right here would be 20 plus 10. And so we would end up with this part is 30 degrees. And again, you can use either method. I can either do 90 minus 30 to get this one, or I can do 3 times 20. Either way, I'm going to end up with 60 degrees. So the measure of our first angle is 30 degrees. The measure of our second angle is 60 degrees. So just to recap, if you are finding supplementary angles, the sum is going to be 180. If you are finding complementary angles, the sum is going to be 90. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.